The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Having stories to tell, not stuff to show, will always be memorial. I dared to live the life I've always wanted, but it only took me a long time of waiting. I haven't been anywhere, but it is on my list to be the first Nigerian to travel the world by road. I asked myself several times, if it is something I could do, or is it something worth doing, or just my ego? Well, travel encourages tolerance, patience, and understanding, and adventures are the best way to learn. We believe that every time we travel, we come back as better people because we have been exposed to new cultures, different ways of living, and different ways of seeing things. We too learn to look at life differently. I'm about leaving Benin Republic now to my next destination, which I am super, super, super excited to go to. And come with me as we go to this next destination and make more oh, negotiations yeah. since we don't know how to speak yeah. French. <laughs> Let's go. So we're checking out. Uh, this one is here. Very bad. Very bad. Beach for the the my passport to Asigame, the stamp my passport. No, no. For oh, the immigration. Okay. But I know they wait. No, you don't wait. Okay. Now yeah, immigration place where I will stop my passport or stop. Immigration is stop. Yes. You know you got money. Huh? My budget is that money. You don't fear. I see a passport there. I'm not going to go. 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 You see, wherever they wait for me. If it's safe for you, you passport, you want to enter it. Okay. okay. Then I'll tell you. Yes. You go tap on it with your passport. You go enter for a car. You go, okay. 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 Hi guys, so uh, what are you guys doing? And I'm in the car, this is nice. We are going to Aplawo, as they call it, it's in Lome, and they are going to drop me and wait at the border so I can stamp my passport. Then from the uh, border, the the ride continues, and we head to Aplawo, where I'll find my uh, destination to Coco Beach where I will be staying so let's go on this adventurous journey and to let you know if they they charge me 6,000 sefa to Aplau um, it's really crazy but we're getting the 6,000 sefa to apply well, then from apply well, I get to my destination so let's go I don't really know how long this is going to take uh, for the bus to the car to fill up because 
the seats are still empty and I'm the only one still here and this is really getting me thinking like I'm traveling blind like no means of communications, no internet, no calls like even the place I'm supposed to sleep when I get there I don't even know the full address I'm just traveling blind eh? waiting here just sitting here alone by myself just make me worry more I, I wish we could just leave so I can know yeah we're on the road already and whatever happens happens when we get there so let's just still keep waiting as they load and look for passengers to Aflawo, which is in Lome, the last bus stop. So it's over three hours now and I'm still waiting, waiting for the car to be filled so we can leave. I'm already exhausted, tired, feeling hungry. I just want to get to my destination, that's all. And luckily we just have one passenger who just checked in as well. So I think it's remaining three or four. I don't know how they are loading, if they are loading just three at the back or four at the back and two at the front. So, and it's past uh, what's the time now? Past 11. I'm really tired, but we're just here. And we are still here waiting after the seventh person joined and it's 11.50 a.m. I'm so tired. I wish I am well familiar with this environment. I would have gone to another place and get a car. But since I don't know anywhere in the environment, so I just have to wait till two more passengers get in because they say they are just waiting for two more passengers and they can't leave without loading food. So we just have to wait. Which I'm waiting, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm stressed. I just want to get to the mail and relax and be okay. Okay, let's keep waiting. This is the longest time I've been waiting for transportation to get moving to the destination that I want to go. And if not, that I don't have a SIM card or network to make contact with anybody I would have been out of here for a long time now it's been four hours and i'm still sitting here waiting for this transport to leave and it's it's beginning to annoy me not just stress me it's beginning to annoy me like i wish i was connected to an internet where i have sim card and i don't want to buy sim card here in uh, in Kotonu. i want to get sim card in lume like it's really crazy sitting here in the bus in the car for four hours where I could just find my level out of here and get to my destination and these people are not even saying anything they are not even doing anything about it they just feel a lot of like Anyways, we keep waiting and hope we we get there on time because 
this is not just it this is like the beginning of the journey because when i get to lume i need to make contact with the person i'm gonna be staying with and also i don't even have a full address so getting to lume i need to buy a sim card to make calls i hope we don't get there at night that's my problem because when you get there at night that is really really gonna be bad because i don't want to be working in an environment or in a country where i don't know anybody so let's just keep our fingers crossed here i am again it's two at the dot five hours of sitting waiting for the car to move and nothing to be done i just wish i knew where i was going to like my food directions i would have left here a long time ago now it's five hours of waiting and i'm sure we're still gonna wait Anyways, let's just keep waiting and keep the finger crossed. Now we are about to leave and this happened over there. We're trying to fix the car. <laughs> Isn't this funny? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes. So we are about to leave here to Lome. Goodbye, Benin Republic. Goodbye, Kotunu. Straight to Lome. And here we go.
So on this journey, I discovered that the time difference between Lome and Kotonou was different. Kotonou was one hour ahead of Lome, which is why the delay was in the park and they just ignore because they know once they cross the border they will have extra one hour left for them to get to the destination like while in Kotonou we are like 4 p.m. and while in Lome it was like 1 it was like uh, 3 p.m. so like Kotonou was one hour ahead of uh, Lome so that really got me thinking of time travel space in time and time travel those movies will watch building time machine for a fact is that we don't know that we do time travel every single time we cross a different border because one hour ahead of uh uh, 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 Lume is like going back in time. Like after we cross back, uh, cross the border, it's like we just went back in time. It was like 4 p.m. and suddenly we are at uh, 3 uh, p.m. Like <laughs> it was really crazy. The time difference was really crazy. Like I did time travel. Let me just say I did time travel to to. to to the past, not to the future, to the past. <laughs> like one hour I back to the past. That's what they did time travel. So let's continue on this journey. <laughs> As I sit here in the car, a lot of things is going through my mind like I'm traveling to this country for the first time and I don't have internet, I don't have SIM card to make calls, I don't have a full address to the place which I am gonna be staying and it's not like I know this person that I'm gonna be staying with, it's just uh, from a website couch surfing and I got this information there and I'm gonna stay with a stranger and I try as much as possible not to worry or think but I just I am only human you understand and this journey I just want to keep going forward keep pressing forward I don't want any negative thought on my head I just want to relax and enjoy every step that I take I'm <laughs> 
So I just got my passport stamped out and also stamped into Togo. <laughs> you would not believe how much it cost me. 4,000 sefa boat to 2000 each something that is supposed to be free like you have to pay 2000 sefa to be stamp out of the country that is free visa and you also pay 2000 sefa to be stamping for a country that is free visa okay we're here in togo so let's explore Thank <laughs> you. 